What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the male body from head to toe. Now before we get started with this video I just want to let you guys know that the, before you get to drawing the male body or any kind of body rather you're going to need a face. So I'm not going to spend time talking about how to draw the face. However, I do have videos on how to draw the face at a three quarter view, how to draw the face at a profile, how to draw the face at a front view, and how to draw it at a back view. So I got a lot of videos on my channel that explain how to draw the face, but before we get into drawing a body, you're going to need that first. So I'll leave links to those face videos down below in the description, and I'll also link to one of them right here in the card. But now that we have our face drawn already, let's get started. Okay, so right up here where the ear is, where the ear connects to the face, we're going to draw a neck, which is just like a parentheses kind of shape. And then we're going to draw the opposite one on this side for the other part of the neck, so we can really build it. Okay, and then I'm going to give it like a collar to connect both ends. Okay, and now that we have the neck drawn, we're going to draw a really big line just like this. This line you may have seen before, and it's called the line of action. This marks the initial movement of the body. So the body will move at a curve just like this, especially the torso, because the torso has a spine, and that spine on your back is never straight. So sometimes if you're drawing, you may straighten out the back like this, but in reality, it's not really straight, because the spine is not straight, so your back won't be either. And in this case, the torso is going to be up here in this area. So the movement of the torso would be kind of arched towards the left. So just keep that in mind. On each end of the neck, I'm going to come off and make the shoulders. And then begin to make the torso. Okay, and then on this side, it's going to be a little bit different. Instead of making the line that we made on this side, we're actually going to make it into some sort of an S shape. So when we come off of this line, we're going to make this curved line like this. Sort of like the top of a backwards S, if that makes sense. And then from here, we're going to make that line kind of match the line of action. Okay, and then we can come inwards on this one. So it's more curved. Alright, so now we got the torso pretty much drawn already. But let's add a few more details. Anatomical details, rather. So about right up here, right above this line that I drew here for no reason. So let me erase that. So let's say right about here is where the chest is. So we're going to draw couple of these and then it's gonna kind of make sort of like a lung shape something like that hopefully you can see it on camera but it's gonna make sort of an upside down U shape or like a small bump in between the two but it won't exactly be there I'm just using that as a guide so later on we'll just be erasing that And then throughout the rest of the torso, we're going to make an upside down U shape. And that's going to be for the stomach. So let me darken that so you guys can see it. Okay, and then in this area here, you can give your, you can give your body like a six pack. But I'm not going to add too much detail on that, so I'm just going to draw like three lines to simulate a six pack. But I'm just going to keep it simplistic for now. Okay, so right up here where the shoulders are is where the arms are going to lie, but we're going to save that for later. But coming down here, we're going to begin to make the crotch. So I'm going to make like a triangle shape to look like underwear. Okay, so right up here in this area where this triangle is, or where the point of this triangle is that I drew, that's where the crotch is going to be. Okay, 
So I'm gonna create a crotch. Okay, and then following the line of action, we're gonna kind of make the legs hyper extended because you know legs usually bend the opposite way than how this line is looking. So when you see legs bent this way, it's hyper extended. So it's not gonna look exactly like this. So I'm gonna kind of make straight lines that kind of look like this line, but not exactly. And we're gonna use these lines as guidelines for legs. I'm gonna come off this end of the crotch and then begin to make this line. And then about halfway towards the bottom, I'm gonna draw some kneecaps, which just look like ovals and just added lines on this side and that side to simulate some knees. And then I'm just gonna draw in the rest of the leg using sort of an S shape, but keeping it kind of curvy to simulate some calf muscles, but the calf is in the back and I haven't drawn that yet, but just to make it look like some uh, muscle in the leg, if you wanna say that. And then I'm just gonna quick draw the feet in. So I'm not gonna spend time drawing the feet, but we're just gonna draw in it. We're just gonna draw the feet as if he's wearing some socks. Something like that. And now we can come back up here and draw the back part of the leg. And this is where the calf starts to show more than how we did on this side. So we're gonna come off and make the rest of the leg. Okay, and then once we hit the knees, we're gonna make a big curve. And then it's gonna taper into this foot or ankle rather. And this is where an S shape kind of comes into play more. A backwards S shape. And then it tapers into the shape of the foot. And then I'm gonna add a little uh, ankle right there. And there we go, that's one leg. Now we gotta do it again. So we're gonna use this guideline that we drew. And this time, this leg is actually more stiff than this one because it's carrying more weight. But now that we have one leg drawn, it makes it a little bit easier to draw this other leg because one, we know the halfway point of this leg. So we can actually make guidelines for that too. And then we know the stopping point of the leg, which is down here. Okay, and now we can begin to draw everything else. So since this body is at a three quarter view, more, there are gonna be more curves in the thigh on this side, and then the calf muscles that are here is gonna show on this side. The rest of the leg will kind of be straight. Let me show you. So from here towards the knee, we're gonna make a big letter C shape, or parentheses shape rather. And we're gonna draw in some kneecaps. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the back part of the leg. And now this entire thing looks like an S shape, but it's pretty much broken down this way. But for the rest of the leg, it's gonna be straight. So from the crotch to the back part of the knee, gonna be somewhat straight. It can have a tiny amount of curves to it, but the initial shape of it will be straight. And then this part will be straight as well. And see, came together nicely. And then I'm gonna draw in the other foot. Okay, so the legs are drawn, and I've fixed the boxers. Let me color that in. And in case you forgot, we used our line of action. So the torso, 
bends out this way and then the legs kind of look like they're hyper extended so they follow this backwards curve that's what we did but now we're missing one more thing the arms so when I draw the arms I don't use the line of action because the arms can move in pretty much any direction so let me show you how to do that okay so coming off of the shoulders I'm just gonna make a little circle here indicate that's where the arms are and inside the middle of that circle I'm just gonna draw a dot just to map out the movement of the arms I don't know where the arms are gonna go but we're just gonna have them at whatever direction so we can draw these lines and also when I draw the arms I like to have them stop kind of close to the crotch because that way I have room to draw the hands which stop at the mid thigh so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side we're not gonna see a lot of this circle here so we're just gonna pick a point like right about there and begin to draw the arm or the guideline for the arm rather stop at the crotch and then just draw a little circle for the hand that's a little lower Okay, so now the arms are pretty much the same size. They stop at the same length. So now we can begin to draw them for real. So coming off the shoulders, we're just gonna draw a little curve, kind of like a waterfall curve. Because you know how the water on a waterfall kind of curves and then falls? That's why I call it that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then as you draw the arms going towards the hand, it kind of gets gradually shorter. Okay, so from the shoulders to the elbow, which is this joint here, the arms are going to be straight because you see how these arms are straight? Unless your character has muscles, then they can be curved. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep them straight for now. But coming towards the hand, it's going to have a little bit of a curve. So I'm going to come off of the elbow and begin to make a curve that kind of tapers onto the hand. Because like I said, it'll get gradually shorter. And not exactly taper to it because we got to leave room for the hand. Because we're not, we're not going to have a straight line like this, then the hand. It's not going to look right. So just going to make that stopping point right there for the hand. And now let's do it on the other side. So again, we're not going to see much of the arm on this side because it's at a three quarter view. Actually, it needs, uh, needs to be a little bit wider to me. Curve coming towards the hand. So now that the arms are completely drawn, all that's left to do is to draw the hands. And I'm going to do that in time lapse. But before I do, I just want to let you guys know that I got two videos on how to draw different hand movements. Links to one of those videos will be right here in the card, and I'll link to both videos down in the description. So without further ado, let's draw some hands. Kane is in the building, Nick.
Okay, now that the hands are drawn, let me zoom back out so we can see the entire body. Okay, so this might look a little bit confusing because of all the guidelines that we drew and that I have not erased. So let me use my kneaded eraser right here and then finalize the sketch with my 8B pencil. I'm gonna do that also in time lapse and then come back to you guys. All right, so there's the finalized sketch. And with nothing left to say, that's how you draw a male body from head to toe. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.